Hello, welcome back to the YAWL tutorials. In the last three videos, we have entered all the information we needed for workflow specification in YAWL. The control flow perspective, the data perspective, and the resource perspective. So now we are ready to finally deploy and run our workflow on the YAWL engine. So we'll do that using the control center and the administrator account on the one hand, and then we will go through our case step by step using different user accounts and I will show you how the work is being distributed by the YAWL system. So let's dive into it. And we will launch a new case. So we have this uploaded successfully. And now if we go to control center again and we look in case management we can see that a case has been created for application for leave. Case ID is 1. And um, if we look at the admin work list, we can see that we have to enlarge this a little. So let's do a walkthrough now for this specification. Um, we have application for leave here and we have started a case, case ID 1, and um, if we go to the um, admin work list we can see that there are two participants and so the first task submit leave request is offered to Liana Hayes and Lilac King. This is what we would expect. Now um, we will log in here as Liana Hayes, LHA, password pass. And we will now start to work on this. And if we look at the admin queue now, if we refresh it, we can see now that it has that status started and is assigned to Liana Hayes. So the other user cannot see it anymore as soon as it has been accepted by one user. So we input our data, put in a start date and some end date, destination, and complete it. And now we look at our admin work list and we see that now approve leave request is offered to two participants Rosa Main and Ray Reese. So we go to the other window here, we log out and now we log in with Ray Reese. We work on this and let's say we look at the data and we approve the leave Now we go back to the admin work list, we refresh it here and note approval now is offered to Liana Hayes and this is the same participant or the same user that has submitted the leave request in the first place so that's okay so we have to log out here, log in again And now we can see approve leave is okay, we complete it. And if we refresh our list here, it's empty. And if we go to the case management, there is no running case. If you have followed so far without problems, congratulations. If you have problems or questions, use the comments below. See you next time.